What's the count? A little better than average. That don't tell me shit. I said, what's the motherfucking count? Oh, about 65 and change from Skid Row, 220 from Uptown, another... Where the fuck is Nicky at, anyway? Yeah, he'll be along in a minute. He's taking care of some personal business. No big deal. Motherfucker better get his ass here quick. He can take care of his shit in his own motherfucking time. The only reason you're alive is Nicky wants you to remember the beating we give you. Now keep your fucking ass out of poison, Bill, you fuck. <laughs> yeah. Good motherfuckers. Hey, what's this? Now this might come in handy. Hi there, and welcome to Let's Play Kingpin, Life of Crime, and I am Depressing Draws as usual, and we find ourselves dumped in a shitty alley, being up within an inch of our lives, as you can see in our health indicator in the bottom there, and with no recourse but to seek revenge on the guys and the organisation who's done this to us. So let's just check what we've got in our inventory. Yep, we've got a pipe. So, first thing we can do with the pipe is smash open this fencing and we do a liggity split. Good job of it, I think you'll agree. And uh, just one thing I want to mention before we go too much further into this game is that our main protagonist here, the main character, wasn't given a name by the developers. So we're going to have to name him ourselves and I christen you Jeff. So, Jeff, what are we going to find down here? Some ammo, and we are going to be in need, some dire need of some ammo in our quest for vengeance and uh, beating up some guys who beat us up. Which I feel, I feel that you'll agree that uh, an eye for an eye is the best course of justice in this instance. So let's go around this corner. Oh man, you got a dollar? No, I ain't got a dollar. Hey, get back to me when you got a dollar, huh? Alright, so as we can see in this game, that the NPCs are not all hostile to you, uh, although I think this guy probably is. So what's up? Man, don't be looking at my bitch, motherfucker. Well, she isn't much to look at, is she? So yes, as you can see, uh, we can go around and talk to the NPCs in this game and they will give us positive and negative responses. And we ourselves can respond positively and negatively to them, but we'll get into that a bit later. Let's go and talk to this chap. He looks like he's having a good time. Yeah, what's all the commotion? Well, I'm not sure I should be contributing to your alcoholism, my friend, but certainly if uh, if you want a drink, I will do my best to find you some. So uh, let's just have a look while we're here in our handy dandy notebook. So yes, the bum said he would get me, or you could tell me something good if I get him some booze. Or, uh, I don't know if that's really a very moral choice, but we'll go along with it anyway. Uh, that fat guy will send me a crowbar. And uh, yes, our main objective for this area is we've got to find a way back to Poisonville. So, there's no hanging around in dirty alleys for that. We're going to have to carry on with our lives before we can achieve that goal. So, let's go and see what's around this corner here. Uh, yes, a guy with a pipe openly carrying that. I feel like that's not something that you're going to use for good, my friend. But never mind. I do like your hat, though. It's looking pretty good. Uh, a bar, which is closed. And, uh, I don't know. Like, Is this some sort of steelworks or something? But that's closed as well. So Let's talk to this fine uh, lady over here. She's probably got something nice to say to us. So what's up? Yo, man, you best find a piece. Okay, so anyone not first in the uh, language of the street, who's not street and down the kids, uh, like what I am, uh, will probably think, what's a piece? Well, obviously we've got to go and find a gun. Uh, yes, and uh, our new entry in our diary tells us that yes, we've got to find a way into the Sewer Rats HQ. So, where are we going to get a gun from? Well, I think a pawn shop is probably the best place to buy a gun, although... Uh, don't be too alarmed. This is not a place that sells pornography, as far as I'm aware. No, it's just porn, as in buying and selling used goods. So, hold on, let me buzz you in. Let's go and see the proprietor of this fine establishment. Hey, welcome to Pornomatic, huh? Hey, I see you ain't got any heat. I'll tell you what, there's a Heilman condenser coil in a warehouse around the corner. My source says it's in storeroom B. You bring it to me? I'll get you a pistol. Hey, come back anytime, huh? Thanks for shopping, Pornomatic. Well, that was very kind of that gentleman. He will give us a, uh... If I can ever possibly get his door open system to work. Yes, he'll give us a gun for free, literally, if we go and find him a coil. And I hope that's not some, uh, some sort of UVF uh, coil or anything, but never mind. Just gloss over that quickly. Let's see. This is probably the warehouse around the corner he was talking about. Let's talk to this... Back off. Those guys will rip you to shreds. Will they indeed, madam? Tell me any more about it. Hey man, you better not go back there. Uh, but I've got to go back there. So what's up? 
I'll tell you right now, they'll tear you up. Yeah, she's not being very much helpful at the moment. So, uh, yes, round here you can see uh, there's some guys patrolling. They, uh, <laughs> they patrolling, they Hayden. They try to catch us riding dirty, but they will not catch us riding dirty. Uh, so, yes. That sounds like a good time. Yes, they, as the radio gets loud there, they will be distracted by it and we can sneak on by. So let's go. Uh, breaking and entering into their warehouse. Well, less of the breaking, I guess. We're just entering it uh, on uh, false pretenses, I guess. But never mind. Let's go in. Oh, and it sounds that you've just seen a red icon at the bottom there. And they seem to have uh, noticed that we were sneaking into their warehouse. So we're just going to hide in the corner for a bit here. And uh, as we hide in the corner there, we're just getting bitten by a rat. So thanks very much for that, Raddy. Just try, try to give our position away there. And then I'm just going to have to splat you with a pipe, aren't we? But Okay, so we seem to be all good here. And although we are getting bitten by a rat, but never mind. <laughs> let's carry on. Let's swipe this five bucks that we find in the corner here. And let's carry on our merry way, robbing the shit out of this warehouse. Let's go. So, yes, uh, the <laughs> probably... The uh, title Life of Crime should give you a good indicator as to what we're going to be getting up to in this game for the majority of it. So, uh, on we go, looking for a coil. Who can get us a coil? But before we can do that, we're just going to pick up a couple of health bags here that look uh, suspiciously like oldie worldy doctor's bags. So we'll pick them up. Lovely jubbly. Save that one for later, I think. Let's see who's in this office. Drop your fucking weapon. Yes, it's a man in a hat, so let's just sort him out really quickly. In for the uh, crime of uh, wearing a horrible pork pie hat. Yes, do some, sir. Uh, let's see what he's got for us in his office. He has a flashlight, so that'll come in handy. And some booze and a crate, so let's smash the crate up. Job's good. And also this uh, air duct grate, because God knows if there's an air duct, I'll climb in it, you know. <laughs> Anyone would think there was something like air or something going around these systems, but no, they're just big spaces big enough for us to climb into. So let's uh, carry on throughout the rest of this warehouse here, and let's see what else we can find. Hey, Louis, let's finish this game, for Christ's sake. Ah, so it seems that we're not alone in this way, part of the warehouse, so let's just uh, be a bit sneaky and quiet and see... If we can get the drop on the other guy in this warehouse, let's have a look. Yes, there's the fellow now. Well, I fear that although he's done nothing to us, I fear we're going to have to just take him out, unfortunately. So, let's teach this guy how to do his job properly and not just stare at a table. Although I'm not sure that uh, doing his job properly entails having an altercation with us, but never mind, we've sorted him out regardless. And so, yes, yeah, so we can look up here and find that there is another air duct to climb into, and God knows that I need more air ducts in my life in order to climb into them. So let's just uh, grab this box here. No, no, that's my flashlight. Look at this lovely flashlight. Isn't it wonderful, everyone? Uh, but never mind, let's carry on. So let's just drag this crate very slowly over here. And then very slowly push it over here as well, uh, although it seems to be a bit skiddy, doesn't it? And uh, you can tell that this is a pushable crate just because it has an icon of a guy pushing it on it. And wouldn't you know it, it's a crate that you can push. Any other crates in this game, you will not be able to push. So uh, we do some mildly successful climbing up here. And uh, let's just see if we can indeed get into the... Oh, fuck's sake. We're climbing up here and let's just see if we can indeed get into this air duct. And yes... Another air duct down, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you'll agree that, you know, this is necessary for the completion of the game. Go through as many air ducts as possible. And also splat some more rats, because the bastards will tick down our health with nary a consideration to our completion of the game. But never mind. So, drop down here, and we find ourselves in a little store area. And yes, here is the titular condenser coil. Thank you. And while that guy wants this condenser coil, I've got no idea at all. But never mind. We're just going to grab it for him anyway. And uh, over there, we can see another health kit. So, I'm just going to jump up here and behold my amazing jumping skills as I'm able to jump from there to here and collect this health uh, well I suppose it's a health pickup yeah that'll do uh, yeah and that's a hell of a jump to be able to make you look at that and you think wow you know this guy's uh, pretty sprightly for a, a stout guy that he undeniably is good old Jeff um, so let's carry on shall we and I feel like we can probably uh, ditch the stealth attitude now and we'll probably just be able to leg it past these guys um, you can see the torch shining through a uh, solid brick wall there but never mind you know I'm sure the programmers did the best job that they could at the time so uh, let's just open the door and leg it past him yes he's not impressed but never mind we'll just run him past him at this point uh, I think he understands that we are the better man so now that we've picked up some whiskey let's go and give it to this bum because god knows he looks like he'd do some more here's some whiskey 
combination to the safe, man. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. So this bomb somehow knew the combination to the safe that we just saw in that guy's office. Who we murdered. Um, so we'll have to go back and do it there. But before we do that, we're going to pick up our lovely crowbar from this guy. Yeah, sure, Here's whatever. Fucking All right, cool. Here you crowbar. Thank you very much, purveyor of crowbars. So yes, we have ourselves a nice upgrade to our melee weapon. So rather than a shitty old pipe that we found in the bin, uh, which is this. We have a nice crowbar, and this is just basically uh, just a little bit of an upgrade for a melee weapon. You know, it's got slightly better reach and slightly better damage. But uh, we're going to pop that away just for now, and we are going to go and exchange a coil for a gun. And that is not a sentence that you hear in reality very often, is it? But never mind. These two uh, uh, seem to be having some sort of friendly discourse. So let's carry on. All right, you brought me the coil. Here you go. One pistol and a clip. Have fun, killer. Okay, so we pick up our first weapon of the game, and also uh, we are find ourselves in the shop again. So the shop is now fully open to us, uh, and as you can see, there are uh, numerous things on sale in said shop, mainly all weapons and weapon peripherals. So uh, we'll go through all of these a little bit later, uh, but rest assured that we don't have the money to spend on any of it anyway at the moment. Hey, come back anytime, huh? Thanks for shopping, Parmatic. <laughs> So, gun in hand, I feel like we're probably even the odds up against our uh, security guard friends who are securing this warehouse that we were robbing, you know. And in fairness, they were only doing their jobs, but I still harbour a grudge anyway, so let's just whip out our gun, stick a new clip in it. And I feel like the odds have been shifted in our favour now, and of course we do have the combination to the safe, so let's go and get it. So we took a little bit of damage in that uh, altercation, shall we say, but uh, we have uh, emerged the victors and we don't have to deal with these two guys anymore and we are free to wander around this warehouse uninhibited. So uh, let's just see if we can rob these two quickly. And yes, uh, a nice little feature of this game is that most of the enemies do carry the odd bit of cash on them. Well, we're going to need cash in our ongoing mission for vengeance. And of course, we have indeed picked up something early in the game as well, which is this shotgun. And uh, I'm just going in the wrong door there. So actually, no, I did want to go in that door. So let's go back there, shall we? Uh, and yes, um, it's important that we pick up a shotgun early in this game because the enemies are a bit of toughies to deal with. So we're going to need all the firepower we can get and getting it shotgun early on is a good way to proceed so let's just run down these corridors and cut. look at the speed in which we run it's actually incredible and um, we can just pick up this health kit that we saved a bit earlier and in we go to crack open this safe and what do we get for our ill deeds we get a hundred bucks and like that <laughs> i gotta tell you that is definitely worth having at this point in the game so i'm just going to cut you out here and i'll see you back at the portomatic Ah, good old Pornomatic, here we go. Hold on, let me buzz you in. Man, who beat the shit out of you? <laughs> Charming, you know it looks so hot yourself, buddy. So, uh, getting over that. Uh, now we've got a little bit of spending money. Let's see what we've got here to spend in the Pornomatic. Well, uh, we don't really have enough money to be buying any uh, big weapons at the moment. So, we'll just gloss over that for the moment. Uh... In the mods, you can see here that you can buy uh, mods, uh, modifications for your existing weapons. So the only weapons that have mods are the pistol, as you can see here, uh, and also the heavy machine gun, which uh, you'll need that cooling mod to be able to get any kind of performance out of it. But we'll be looking at that a little bit later. Um, ammo for the various weapons are fairly self-explanatory. You can buy a bit of health here as well, which I think we're going to do now. Uh, med kits will get you through some scrapes, huh? Sold. So yeah, that'll do us for the time thing, I think. And of course, armor. And the interesting thing about armor in this game is that it's divided into three sections on your body, your head, your torso, and your legs. Um, so you can just see your various options there. So it starts off with, I think that power is already a good thing to have. So we're just going to buy the Magnum Nod. Magnum Nod, one of my favorites, a real punch, you know. Oh yes. So we'll just buy that for the pistol. Uh, and also, actually, while we're here, 
Buy some shotgun shells as well. Oh, well, thank you very much. What sort of shop are you running here? You know, it's a piss poor service. Hey, come back anytime, huh? Thanks for shopping, Pontomatic. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a disappointment, but never mind. Let's just see what we can do here. So, uh, I happen to know, due to my latent psychic abilities, we have uh, some mean cross guys around this corner waiting to beat us up. Uh, so let's just see if we can get a bit of a hand from this gentleman here. Yeah, hey, I'll follow you for ten bucks. Okay, Bubba, that sounds like a bargain to me. So you got the money? Here you go. Right, let's go. Right, so, we've hired our first hired help. Come along, Bubba. Oh, God, I'm getting bitten by a rat. What are you doing, Bubba? This rat has beat me up. Like, he's got it in for me. He's got the taste of blood, and he's all over it. So, come on, Bubba. We're going to go and beat up some horrible, nasty, tattooed guys. Let's go. Just going to whip out my pistol here. And you can see that the mods actually uh, make a uh, aesthetic difference to your guns. And that's quite a nice touch. Uh, yes, and look, uh, our new entry in our diary tells us that we are indeed on their turf and we need to kill them all, basically, so let's go. Oh, Bubba, you nearly got a face full of hot <laughs> bug shot there. I'm not going to lie to you, but never mind. Uh, let's just uh, steal this guy's cash if he has indeed have any cash. No, he doesn't seem to have any. Oh, well, never mind. Let's uh, carry on. It's really important throughout this game that we loot all the bodies that we managed to kill because uh, cash, although it's not what you'd call in short supply, every little helps. So, you got any more for me, mate? No, seems not. Uh, I think one of your buddies was hiding around here as well. Let's just see if we can just... Uh, Take care of any loose ends, shall we say. Go get him, Bubba. Show off your fighting prowess. Yeah, these guys being about as useful as ever. But, you know, he manages to take them out after taking uh, a few little hits himself. And we get some free health out of the deal. So there we go. So, I think that's enough for today. And me and Bubba and Jeff are going to see you next time in Let's Play Kingpin Life of Crime. Thank <laughs> you.